Big up Spurs fans, near and far, and also big up to the Arsenal cronies in the chat. You know it must be a North London derby weekend when one, I seem to be streaming on a consistent basis, but two, when you've got celebrities in the building and there's no other bigger sensation than my bro boot bats in the building, Mr. 150 TikTok. This guy is doing numbers, doing bits. So look, fans, let's get the niceties out the way real quick. Two minutes of niceties. How you been, bro, before we get into why we're really here, mate? Because the gloves are truly off today. Do you get what I'm saying? Been all right, bro. I've been all right, man. I see you've been um doing your usual, man. Deluded Deji. Uh, deja vu deji it's just like the same as last year man i just see the same circle with you in it just continues just always talking talking and then there's no end product bro i so think that, anything changed, anything is, changed? you end? know what the, the, the only thing i would say see that laugh that you do what laugh? <laughs> have you got any soothers for that bro because today you're getting chopped up really you yeah, are getting bro. chopped up I, chop I'm, I'm out for fifth place. Place. you're gonna yeah. chop me out from fifth place Oh, let's go. Let's get see. That's the nice ease out. Big up to everyone that's already in the building in the chat. Big banks, everyone else, people coming through Big from the, the chat, chat, man. Everyone sub to Deji, man. If you come from my side, just everyone sub to Deji, yeah. Big up, big up, big up, big. So look, let's get into it. North London Derby weekend. Big up Jacob and, and all my people. North London Derby weekend. Banks. So far, because I actually want to talk football as well tonight as well. Come on. It's a simple question, but I want you to really break it down for us. How are you rating Arsenal season so far, bro? I mean, we're doing well. It's just Man City, isn't it? Okay. It's Man City. Man City with Pep. What would you expect, man? They won the treble last year. They're still kicking on. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what you expect from a team competing against Man City. Like, what do you expect? Yeah, but bro, at the end Man of the City day, the best team. Our Man City are the best team in Europe, the world. Yeah, they are. So to beat them would be a huge achievement, right? No, yeah, it would be definitely. It's respectable. So, be, so to be ahead of them, yes, to have a game in hand. We, we're doing all right, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm, uh, not, yeah, I'm quite I'm happy. happy. I'm quite happy. I'm asking you a legitimate question. I mean, you're, you're sounding all defensive. I don't know why you're... you're yeah, I am defensive because I know what's coming, man. I know the bombs are dead. I know the bombs. I know the bombs are coming from you, bro. I just want to have a... I just want to have a... You can't set me up, can you? Without having any beef. Do you know what I'm saying? But obviously... I mean, look, the way I see it, yeah, the way I see it, we, we're progressing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, if I see us, like, regressing or static, then that's an issue. We're progressing. Every year we're progressing... Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if we was to drop to third, fourth, then, yeah, that's when I start asking questions. But oh, I say, yeah. how about you? Okay. How are you feeling about your season? You know what, Dej, actually, let's think about it. I'm, the we're last time I spoke to you, yeah, we're going to do the no, The last time I spoke to you, yeah. innit? Last yeah. time I spoke, it was like November times, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you, that, you was doing up Cisco, Fong, innit? You was twerking in your Fong. You are still shaking my of the time. month. It was a bit yeah. cold them yeah. times. You had the heater on. Yeah. He was twerking in your front room, yeah? Did you get any uh, trophies for that? For the managers? Of no, but is, this, is the season done? Did you bro? get any trophies? No, I was just wondering. Like, can, I ask, can, I ask you quick, can I ask you a quick question, though? they make you, any you, DVDs? You were, you were about to ask me, yeah. how do I rate Spurs' this season so far? True or false? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I want to rate it. So, for me, first and foremost, you've got to remember that we were under Dusty Conte last year. And prior to that, we were under Dusty Mourinho. Whether you like it or not, Tottenham has had four years of being in the wilderness, yeah? Under Postacoglu... Four years? About 40 yeah, years. Four, it's four years. No, calm down. Under Postacoglu, we got found. Do you get what I'm saying? We started playing football again. We started dominating games. But we got to remember, bro, because what you can't do, which your, your, your best friend JP tried to do yesterday, is try and judge Spurs on the same yardstick as Arsenal. Arteta has been at this for five years. My gaffer has been in the job five minutes. So it's you can't doctor. compare you can't compare us at the moment. Yeah. So let's just keep it real. Of course. Why would As we compare each other, bro? Like you're you're fifth and we're we're just, top. Just, Why would just we compare? Call, just, call, just call the dog because next season is when really the game starts to get real and where you get slapped up. But let's deal with this season so far. So my gaffer, five minutes in charge, 
has got Tottenham to fifth, maybe even finishing in a Champions League position. Well done, man. I think for this season, that is respectable. Arteta, in his first season, you finished eighth. True or false? Yeah, true That's or false? True, yeah, yeah. So, true, yeah. so my gaffer is already doing better. So for me, where was, where was Spurs was last Spurs season? Also, where was Spurs? No, where was Spurs last season? But, but was Poster Coglu in charge? I'm not just asking. Talk to me about my current setting. No, no, no. Where was Spurs last season? We finished eighth. You finished eighth, yeah. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Spurs finished eighth, bro. And what's the points tally between last season and what he's done now? Tottenham finished with sixty points last year. And we've already on 60 with six games to go. You know what? That's that's massive. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's definitely... That's, that's, he's making great strides, Posta, no clue. Well done, mate. It, well, he's definitely got a clue, mate. If you... if you, if you and well, Listen, if he tries... Listen, 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 bro. If Posta, no clue... Let me tell you something about the game. If that guy tries to come with that high line, bro, yeah? We're sending him Turkey, bro. There's no yeah. way. Let Turkey. me tell you. There's no way. If he Let comes with that high line, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna ship him. He's he's a fraud. Let me he's tell you fraud. about that high line. I'm he's glad an absolute you fraud. That. Like them gums in Turkey. I, I had an agenda ready for tonight, but that the agenda's gone out the window since you want to just be dictating what we're gonna be talking about. Yeah, so let's talk about the hell. high. We're let's, top. You're fifth. Let's talk I always about dictate to you. You're a little spursy. You're a little let's, spursy. Let, let's t let me tell you what we're doing here. You see, you see me right now. I'm like Jada Kiss, and you're like Nelly. You're Mr. Big Shot. You're commercial, bro. But in the streets, you're not real in the streets. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, I'm real in the streets, and I'm going to let you know about your dusty, about yeah, the high line. Tottenham yeah? real. What's real gonna about tell, Tottenham? I'm going to tell What's you right now. Now, let me tell you about It's who we are, mate. It's who we are, when, mate. When we went to your gap, we had more ball position than you. Remember that, yeah? When we went to the Emirates, we had Why more... Why are you bringing up history, man? Now, Imagine the irony, a Tottenham what? fan talking about history. Let, let me Why tell are you talking you. about a past game? Let me, let me drop the bomb. Let me drop the bomb oh, then you. Drop your you stupid really bomb. Coming. I came prepared. Now, unless Arsenal's going to humble... Are you telling me that you're going to humble yourself this weekend? Because the only way you're beating Tottenham's high line is if you're going to play direct balls from the back. That is Saliba going long, way over our centre-backs, into your striker mm -hmm. hand out so you whoa, know, whoa, 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 whoa. Score. Whoa, whoa. if you do long whoa, whoa. ball football then you can get a result against Spurs but don't think what you're gonna do you try what and outplay Spurs hang on. Wolves. There's nothing you can do about that Wolves though. hang on Wolves Brighton Aston Villa they all play football they flipping beat you home and away Wolves As Aston Villa how, what are you trying to say Aston Villa we slapped 4 0 at their and gap. they beat you they beat you in the other they game in our gap yeah yeah they play good football so does they, Wolves. No. None of them played good football, bro. None of them. None, all, all of them went direct. You, bro. You're getting too excited, man. Oh, Just because you've seen such face. dusty football. Deji, you've watched so much dusty football bro. over Conman Conte and flipping the Parker, Marino. You're just getting excited, man. You're shaking your bum, as you would say, with the fan on. Yeah? yeah. Getting really excited in that dusty Tottenham hoodie. Yeah? Calm yeah. down, mate. You're not playing that well, mate. Yeah, all right, all right. You're, and you're getting figured out. This guy's a fraud. You get, he's okay. getting figured so out. You, you just said something, and big up to AFC. Well, always. Figured, out, figured you let, out. Let me just get to some of the chats, and I'm going to answer that question. Big up to everyone in the building. Everyone that is big please like in the building. Right. AFC always it says put that cap on the right way. You might win a trophy in the next decade, mate. How about we might win a trophy next season? Then we've got Artillero, my arch oh, nemesis yeah. in the building. It says better than Spurs. That's all you need to know, Dej. That is some hella garbage. JP is in the building. JP, uh, JP. Big, uh, big up, uh, Dusty Dead. Big up to you, man like Sam. Um, I'm ready. I've been ready for Bance. I've been waiting for Bance for about a year. And this brother has been running from me. Running from me, scared. Because he knows he's going to get chopped up tonight. You lot are about saying, delusional a verbal massacre on this brother today. Dej, you know what, man? How many bets you had this season, bro? Because all I remember, bro. last season... I, Dej, you know, you know what? Actually, I want to get have one thing clear with you. I didn't get an apology because I allowed you. And I think I deserve a, an apology. This I guy, I said, you know what, a liar. He owed me money, yeah? He told me Dusty Richardson... He told me Dusty Richardson... 
No, yeah. no, Dej, just to make them know how silly you were. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy I bet me Richarlison, yeah, will score more than Gabriel Jesus last season. How many how many goals did Thingy get? He got one. Who? You told Richarlison, yeah, he got one goal last season. Last and last then you season. told me Aston Villa okay. would come above Arsenal last right. season. Okay. And, and I laid, I allowed you the piece. And, but this season has, but this season has Richarlison scored more goals than Jesus. Is he played more games? They played about. Did we spread the goals around, bro? Has this season it has? But I didn't take the bet this season, did I? Richardson scored more goals than Jesus. Did I take the bet this season? Oh, look at this guy, man! Look at this guy. Are you a lawyer? Are you a lawyer, Mr. Dodd? You're a politician, yeah? What are you trying to? Are you running for a prime minister? You've never done questions. I see you ducking questions all day. You know what? I don't even know. Actually, I don't even really know why we're. Other than the game, I don't even know why we're talking because I see how you talk to them, Man United fans, traps in them. Yeah, I don't, we are not I don't in the same that. league. We're not in the same conversation. Yeah, no, I see all that. I shouldn't even be talking to you. You know, let Not me talk. let me let me tell you why you need. I shouldn't to be. even be talking to you. Then. Let me tell you why you need to be. Let me tell you why you need to be talking to me. Because if you don't, if you don't beat Tottenham, your season's done, my brother. And let me tell you this before you start shaking your bum. The truth is, and, and, and the one thing I respect about you is when I give you a good question, you unlike JP, you will answer it. So I will say this. If Arsenal do not win the Prem and finish in the Champions League spot and Tottenham finish in the Champions League spot, is there any difference between the two clubs? Think before you answer the question. What, what do you think? Think before you what answer. What do you the think? Question. What do you think? I know what then I think. I'll answer. Answer no, the no, question. What do you think? And then I'll answer. All right, I'll tell you. There will be no difference between Arsenal and Spurs because we would have both we would have both won nothing with regards to trophy, and we both would have uh, basically qualified for Champions League. Football. Okay, but what are you aiming for? Are you just aiming to get third and fourth each season? Is that what no. you're aiming for? No, for this season in my so manager. We're aiming. No, 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 no. no, no oh, we're yeah. aiming for the league. No, no. You wanted to. I. You answered. Yeah. We're aiming for the title. Yeah. So, as long as we can close the gap on City or get closer to that aim, then we're we're further away from you how and we're closer that, to our goal. Can I just uh, stop you, you? You try and try and do these smart questions. They just no, come they're out. Not, they're, not, they're not a smart question, bro. My manager is in his first season. So What's next, and, and, I, and I know I know you don't. Watch, we are, mate. Like, can I just tell you? Are, mate. I know you don't watch Tottenham. We are, mate. I know you don't watch Tottenham news, but Poster Coglu has already come out to say that Tottenham will be in a title race next season. Yeah, that's mate, how he said, know. It, mate. This idiot, this idiot said you Post were still in a title race in February. Who? Poster Dog Poo. Bro, Post at the end of the day, the reason why he you're able asked, to. No, no, no. He was asked, this idiot, this fraud, yeah, high line fraud, yeah, send him to Turkey, yeah. He said. When you was out of everything, yeah. Someone said to him, uh, "Oh no!" Someone said, "You're out of everything," and he goes, "What about the league?" He thought you was in a title race. He's, he's more deluded than you, bro. No, he's not deluded. Let me tell you what my guy is about. He's more you. deluded than you. Let me tell you, and I agree with Poster Coglu. Poster Coglu yeah. lives his life with his heart on his sleeve. He's saying to all of us, "It's better oh, well, to that? have, it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all." So what he wants to do is, like me, he wants the big boy prizes. Why are we talking about fifth and fourth when we're, when really what we want to be doing is winning the league? Now, and they asked him today about how does he feel about fifth, and he said it's crap. He knows it's crap. I know it's crap. But... You know, there's the thing is, man. No, listen, listen, bro. When did you last win the league? It's his first season, bro. You can't when did you last win the league, though? Bro, what are you doing, man? No, no, no. What do you mean? No, you gotta think about the statements the man is saying. When yeah? did you when did you last win the league? In the Premier League era, yeah? No, when did you in last the Premier League era? There was Wi Fi then, bro. Yeah. Your when granddad did you didn't even see Spurs when win the league. Did you last win the league. Do you want me to tell you? I know when we won the league. Do you man. want me to tell you? Me. You won it's the league. It's not comparable to when no. you won it. Bro, it's not comparable to when I, you won. Can I can I be real with you? You it's won not comparable to when you won it, is no, it? Can I just say this though? You won the league over twenty years ago. Is that what you want to shake your bum for, bro? Twenty I'm years. Done. 
Are you being Firstly, for real? Are you being Firstly, for real right now? That would be the most famous thing I've ever seen if you're going to say you're going to shake your bum because you won Who's the league. shaking their bum, though, bro? Yeah, no one actually shaking defense. their bum. I'm just saying. Bro, bro let me remind listen. you. No, quickly. Let me say this. Let me remind you. When you won the league, we were all sporting 32 tens and changing the faces. Yeah, we were all Broski. playing plates on our Broski, phones. your granddad... Didn't yeah. even see Spurs win the league. It was black and white TV settings, man. Yeah? Black and white TV settings, man. Boy. All right, guy? that's cool. Spurs, but man, you, but you've got nothing, nothing, there's season. nothing to be proud of when you won the league over 20 years ago. True or false? Say again, say again. There's nothing to be proud of you winning the Prem over 20 years ago. Or are you proud about Broski. that? Man? Broski. At the end of the day, we've won it in the Premier League era, yeah? And I'm talking to a guy, yeah, who's, oh. not, who's not won it since the 1960s. I, bro, I understand. So it's not comparable. I understand that. But are you proud that you won the Prem? But my point was, won? my original point was, which you oh, ducked, yeah? yeah? Which you ducked. You're saying you don't want to go for the small things, the Carabao Cups, the Carabao Poo Poo Cups, the FA Cups. You want to go for the league. But you have to think about that sort of statement he's making. When you haven't won the league in the, since the 1960s, is that a realistic statement? Answer that question, please. Bro, at the end bro, of the day... Bro, the answer you, ain't bro, you, you idiot. You talked about... The, the answer is not bro. You, you just talked about... The answer about, is not bro. You just talked about progression, you, bro. Did you not talk about progression? You talked about the fact that you're proud that Arsenal progressed. Yeah, you progressed you are at the moment from eight to fifth. Yeah? Well done, man. So we are progressing. So, so we are progressing, bro. That's what it's about. Let my Amazing. manager have the same amount of time as your manager and let's see what happens. I promise you, if Posta Coglu is in his fifth season at Spurs, we would have won the league. So who are you shaking your bum for, bro? Because you're acting like Arteta is in his first season. Calm yourself down. He should be winning something. He spent over 700 mil, bro. Come on, man. You know what? You know Come what? Ifs and buts and maybes. Ifs and buts no, and maybes. Yeah? It's dusty, what do you bro. mean? We're the talking about why, two the days. The reason why. Two days. I tell you We're something. We're talking about two days. Can two I days. Tell you, something, bro? You, ain't, you ain't five years away, bro. Let me yeah? tell you something, bro. The only reason why you, you ain't five years away. This, Nicholas Jackson could reason. start scoring goals in five years. Let me tell he you. could say that. He could say that. The only reason why you came out of your little hole to come and have this conversation tonight is because you've had no injuries. That's it, bro. Had you had the same injuries as Liverpool? Had you had the same injuries as Newcastle? How have you had injuries? How have you had injuries? injuries? You wouldn't what even you be here, about? bro. You're you wouldn't even be here, bro. Ha what, what, party? Party? Oh, party. Clearly, Did you watch last season? Did you watch last season? Did you watch last Can I speak? Did you watch last season? Did you watch last season? I watched last season. Yes, I did. Was he, he one of our best players? He played about seven games. No, he didn't, you Wally. He did. He played about what seven games. What are you talking games. about, man? You watching on FIFA or something? Okay. He was one okay. of our best players. He's one of our most important players, yeah? And let me ask you, Sake. What happened when uh, Rodri was out the team for Man City, bro? Yeah, they, 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 they started. Yeah. And so... Partey, it's only because Declan's come in, yeah, oh, yeah. that that kind of covered that scenario. If Partey was in this team, bro, we would be clear. But bro, we'll be clear in this league. That, that we'll be clear in this that league. That argument would wash, but you guys have been doing. Exactly, you guys bro. have been doing what you're doing Tom, without him. You guys have been doing what you're doing without because him. Because Declan Rice come in and played DM, but Partey would be sitting and Declan would be alongside Odegaard. What we Tom, did last game, and you see what we did to Chelsea, yeah. yeah. Can I just? You see what we did to Chelsea. No, I'm going to What's deal with Chelsea in a minute. Another I'm thing, quickly. Another thing. What would you say is our most problematic uh, uh, position on the pitch? Uh, striker. You ain't got a decent striker. And I left mean, back. look, at the end of the day, you can and say that. But back. who scored that? Who scored? Who, you're right. Left back. Left back. Okay, left, left back. back. You said left back. Even you right wing. Back. Even right wing. You said wing. left back. You said Even left right back. Even right wing. Yeah? Timber. Timber's been out all season. You're talking about injuries. Are you Tim are you and Partey bro? are being huge? Are you, are you, are you but right? we don't cry about it, bro. Matt, Matt, we don't cry okay? about it. Are we don't okay? cry about it. We just crack on. What? Can I just say something to you, bro? 
Are you telling me that you want to judge? Timber is untested in the Premier League. We'll bro. Just crack on, man. Timber's untested in the Premier League, is he not? So was Van de Ven. And you love him. Like no, but you've seen, him, you've seen you've Van de Ven this season. You've seen him, though. We've not seen Timber, bro. I see so what bring, Isaac done Don't bring, I see don't what bring Isaac. a player we've never seen. I see what Isaac done Why would Isaac never seen the equation? I thought man was Isaac. Can, can I just deal with this crap that I'm getting from Sean here? He says, I'll tell you, I had half a season and won a trophy. Uh, post and um, post the COVID three manager awards. Let me ask you a question, Vance, because you can answer this on behalf of Sean. Sean, you can get tapping away, bashing away at the keyboard in your underwear with the fan blowing in your face right now. When um, Leicester won the league and Ranieri took over, was it because Ranieri did a good job or the previous manager had laid such a solid foundation? I mean. I don't think if that manager so, was well, him. Uh, this is we're, this is being no, recorded. It's Ranieri. That was on Ranieri, man. Oh come on, bro! You're chatting. It's 100 percent on Ranieri. Hella garbage. Why did he get sacked then? Why did he get sacked then? All right, let me ask you this: Did two? Why did the other manager get sacked then? You, did, for Leicester City, oh. you would have to be doing poor, wouldn't he? So, bro, you didn't even let me answer the question, and you just oh, jump in it, Broski. You said to me the foundations of the old Leicester manager. So where where was where was he, man? You you asked the question. Where was where was Leicester? What do you mean? Where was Leicester? Leicester was one of they carried on from the. Oh, run Ranieri, that the, the guy got sacked, wasn't it? I swear it was Pearson, wasn't it? Yeah, you Nigel don't even Pearson. Know. Man, yeah. just asking questions Pearson. he don't even know about. It's Nigel Pearson. He was in charge. Yeah, and I think oh, he made just told you that. You did. He made he laid the foundation that so allowed where was he, man. Where was he then? Where was he? He was he was what sacked. To him? But I don't think yes, he must have been doing a shit that. job, innit? No, nah, bro, you're chatting rubbish, bro. Banks, you don't. Well, you were trying to it. tell me, okay? You so, okay, you with your same mean, logic, with your same logic. Let me ask you this: Did Tuchel, when he won the when he won the Champions League with Chelsea, was that because of him? Because he took over at the semi final. With your same logic, yeah. Demetrio, Demetrio, when he won the Champions League with Chelsea, was that him? With Conte, was that yeah, him? It's got the same players as Big Ange, bar a couple. Oh, look at this guy, man. Did he change it? What do you mean? You <laughs> don't like it when I ask the same question back. Did Conte have the same players? I swear you said. I swear you said the other day, Big Ange only brought a couple of his man, and it's the same team. He's only brought. He's only brought in three or four players, bro. So Conte laid, laid the foundations. Then did he? He did. Because let me tell you why. Your doggy, Conte. So Conte boy. should never have been sacked. Assume, no, Conte didn't know what to do with them, bro. He was dusty. But no, the foundation was you. laid. The foundation was laid by the previous man. Poster Koglu is using what he was left to get what where, where we are today. That's his, these are not his players, bro. That's why he's done an impressive job. So calm yourself down. People keep shaking their bum. Arteta won the FA Cup. Yeah, based on what was built. Since then, what have you won? What have you won? Mate, if he was so like, good, you would have won more Carabao Cups at least. I like bro. I, I, me personally, what you're telling me, yeah, I'd rather be full fifth, full fifth, and win three Carabao Cups, would I? Like okay, doing so Arteta's tenure, I've been trolled on this. Would that be better? Would that be better? What would you or prefer? him chasing the best team in the world, right. so or him I'm, chasing the best team in the would, world, would you, or a couple would, Carabao that Cups? Means, that means, Bans, big up to you because I was on Dan Potts's show couple of weeks ago and I said to him I would rather finish in a Champions League spot than win 10 Carabao Cups. Are you Broski, confirming the same? Um, uh, we have different standards, bro. Bro, just You are not the in question. the same conversation as us. Bance, you would go for Carabao Cups. Of course you would. Bance, you are Tottenham. Bance, you are little Spurs. Bottleham, Rottenham, Shittenham. You're I'm the begging, shit on our shoe, man. Bance, you are I'm little begging. brothers. Yeah, Chelsea, bro. I just, I just need you to answer the question. Would you rather finish in the Champions League spot or win 10 Carabao Cups? Arsenal, I would prefer Champions League, yeah. Uh, for Spurs, if I was a Spurs fan, I would yeah, say Carabao Cups. Don't talk about my club. Don't talk about my club. You have no right to talk about my club. When was the last time you won a trophy? Don't talk about my club, bro. When was the last time you won a trophy? Bro, man, what cat got your tongue? Bro, when was the last time you won a decent trophy? 
Broski, answer my one first, please. Bro, we haven't won a trophy since 2008, but that trophy is rubbish. So we haven't won a trophy in <laughs> young. Spurs haven't won a trophy. When was the last time you won a trophy? When was the last oh time you won a trophy? God. We haven't won. Arteta was in the job, man. Arteta hmm? was in the job. Oh, you are a madman, bro. So can I you ask you a question? I need to. I need to know. That long ago. Look, can I ask you a question? I'm going to ask you another question. I'm going to put in the chat because if the way you answered this, everyone like up the stream, guys. Everyone like the stream up, man. The way you answered. The way you answer this question will determine which direction this conversation is going to go. Whether you're all about banter or whether you got an actual footballing brain. So I'm going to ask you this question. Before you ask me this, Be before you ask me this, before you ask me this, can I just say one thing? Do you agree that asking a Spurs fan and an Arsenal fan, you might answer differently? Or because we're not on the same level. Bro, I just want you to be objective because the question I'm asking you is about... I'll answer it as a Spurs <laughs> fan. No, you're not answering nothing as a Spurs fan. It's about standards. And that, you don't need to be a Tottenham fan. You don't need to be an Arsenal fan. So let me you ask do. you the question. You do. Can you rank, you do. because JP was shameless about this on the show yesterday, but I think you've got a bit more kahunas than JP. Can you, and I'm going to answer this question next, can you rank the trophies in order? Um, what? Um, I'm Champions League. I'd, go, I'd, go, I'd, go, I'd, go, I'd go. I'd go. If I'm a Spurs fan, I'd go. No, Audi no. First. Can you stop doing that? I'd go Can Tiger Cup doing? second. Tiger no. Cup second. This is. Um, this, this is and the is Caravan this. Cup third. Are you Are you mad? Talk I'm about. Just, I'm just ready, I just want you. you don't talk as a Spurs or don't none of that crap. Can you just weigh the chat the titles from Champions League down in order of how you rank? I'd probably I'll probably say the hardest one to win is the league. Over the Champions, the Champions League. Champions League. Okay, so I think, the be, I think the best team, I think the best team always wins the league. You know what? I'll I'll, I'll rephrase that. I think the best team always wins the league. Um but it's harder to win the Champions League. That's so it. how are you ranking them? Are they are they joint first or is one higher than the no, other? I tell you what, I tell you what, I'll give you some context here. Yeah, because Arsenal are not one here. I would rank Champions League. Okay, fair. But th that's why I would say to you, as a Spurs fan who's won, no, don't talk all, about my club. Don't talk about my club. If you ask me about don't caravan, talk about my club. Yeah, if you ask me about don't, caravan don't, club, I don't want it. If I'm a Spurs do fan. We'll Give me that. that caravan cup. All right, Vance, can you just continue with the listing? So you've said Champions League, then Prem. Keep going. Uh, the rest of them, I don't really give a damn. If I I'm know. Honest. I know you don't give a damn, and neither do I. But I need to know where your brain is. So can you rank them, please? Maybe FA Cup, probably. Over uh, FA Cup over the Europa League. Europa League, I never rated anyway. It's just a bunch of fifth to seventh place teams and Champions League rejects. That's all it is. Okay, so is it not? Is it so, not? So, so it's full of Tottenham. It's full of fifth place teams at Tottenham, two seventh. Oh. That's the criteria. So, and so, all the rejects from the Champions so you, League. So, so so it's a, it's Cup, a bunch of losers. So the FA it's just Cup a bunch of losers. So the FA Cup is better than the Europa League, in your opinion. I think everyone goes to the FA Cup. Okay, Arsenal cool. try and go for it. Liverpool go for it. Man City do go that. for it. I'll do that. Don't do that. I'm not lying. I, that's Don't how it. I feel. I think yeah. I'll give the logic. I'll give you... I'll tell you what I think. I think the Champions League and the Prem are first, equal. If, either one yeah, that That's you nothing win, you'll ever win. It's highly respectable. I think it's Europa League. I think it's FA Cup. I think it's Europa Conference League. I think it's Carabao Cup in that order, bro. And for me, we're only going for the top prize, maybe at the very worst. That's a right? conference league. Bro, there's Uber Eats uh, drivers in the conference bro, league. We ain't doing Remember any that time when you like, played? Like, you played a team that didn't have a stadium. People were watching in the trees. Do you remember that team that beat you? No one cares there's about people that. people watching talk. in the we, trees, bro. Let me tell you what we thought of that competition. We removed ourselves from that competition. But look, let's answer some in the chat and then let's get to the North London because this kind of back and forth, back and forth. Is uh, is starting to jar me, in and I'm going to chop you up in, in all honest opinion. So let's go with D. D says, "How is these Spurs man talking with chess? Ain't won anything major in my lifetime. I've seen my club 
go invincible. Yeah, that's great, D, but the, when you saw your club go invincible, bro, you were in nappies. So let's just keep it real right there, yeah? So before you... See, yeah, you saw it, but you didn't know what you were seeing because you would rather watch Peppa Pig at that time, you get me? So you just need to calm yourself down, yeah, in the, in the little diapers right there. Kieran says, we have won a trophy this season. Would it... Would it huh? Has Arsenal... <laughs> has Arsenal won a trophy this season? Kieran... That has got to be one of the most shameless comments. Even Bantz wouldn't stoop so low as to say that Arsenal's won a trophy this season. But if that's what, if that's what you want to knock yourself out with, the community shield, the shield where we're helping everyone, the stuff where we're donating to charity. That's, that ain't a trophy, man. Back. But you would sell it, bro. Like, come no, on. Would, if you no. won that, you no. celebrated the Audi Cup. Bro, I wouldn't even celebrate FA Cup and you would. Yeah, but Dej, this is what you I'm trying to say. It doesn't player. make any sense. That, I wouldn't celebrate that. We'll get on to that in a minute. Go on, anyway, continue with the LMS comments. is saying, um, we ain't both won a trophy in copium from all the people whose teams have been dusty all season. Fair. Callum Roach says, these arguments are tired. Arteta wasn't qualifying for any kind of Europe in his first season. Exactly. Thank you, Callum, for making that point. Um JP, how do you at people here? Uh, I, I don't know. At people here. Or how do you at people? He's, he's saying, I'm not sure. I, I, I actually don't know how to do that either, JP. When I'm on stream, I try to do that. I see people. Artillero like says, it doesn't matter what Ange says, he's the same guy that plays attacking football with nine men. Nick yeah. Angelina. I, I don't really give a damn. It's who we are, mate. It's plauded. Um, I hope there's no fighting going on. Um, Safi Kitty Cat says, JP, no need for insults. I fought long and hard for that name. Yeah, no, no, no need for kind of insults. It's all love and banter. You can all support your clubs. And, no, no and I think that's my guy Saf's, man. I think that's my guy Saf's. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. So, um, Deji's been saying that Tottenham would win the league or Champions League when Arteta got the job. It's still coming and Arteta is still in the job. So, I don't know what you're talking about. Arsenal Manic says the last time Arsenal won a trophy, a decent trophy, was 20 years ago. Um, We're talking about and the then, Spurs and they last won a trophy. D says Arteta inherited a dusty, broken squad and rebuilt a team capable of challenging. Poster, no clue, inherited a team that was qualifying for Champions League past six, seven years. That is a load of cobblers, mate. That is a load of cobblers. This team was not champ um, qualifying for Champions League football. Remember, we lost the best striker in world football in Harry Kane and we're still up there. Your team was was equally in a European side when Arteta took over over you now. So just calm yourself down, relax. We've got many FA Cups in that time too. Not the Premier League or Champions League, but still a respectable cup. Arsenal Manic is there drinking from the same elixir oil that Bood Banks drinks. The FA Cup is as dusty as it gets. That and the Carabao. Spurs won the league more than half a century ago. And your point is? <laughs> and your point is? Because 20 years is a disgrace as well, mate. So calm yourself down. What is there? It's just quickly, just about end there. The point is, you're coming out saying that Spurs are going to win a league title in the next five years. Like, it's a reality. When it ain't, you need to wake up, broski. Oh, are you going to win never, a league? You ain't are never you win a league, a win, a league when, title. Can I ask you a question then, since you've got a big mouth? When are yeah. you winning a league title? Well, can we not still win one this season? I just are we still hear. top? I need to hear with your Are we chest, still top? I are we still you, top? I, look, this, how it runs here is I'm asking you a question. And I'm asking you, can you I mathematically can win the league this season? No, you can't. Can we? Season, yes, we I'm can. Fine. I'm, so what are are you, asking me? Do you believe you can win the league this season? This season? We can win the league. Of course we can. Do you believe that, though? Do I think we will? No, but can we? Yes, of course. <laughs> it's one game. Oh, you are still fans. You're game. just like all the others. So what are you, what are you been shouting about then, bro? If you don't even believe in your own club, you, with all that shaking your bum... You Mostly, don't believe your club. I believe in my own play. club. So when I'm you... being unrealistic. Okay. What did okay. I say to you about Man City? Are they okay. the best team in the world? Yes, they are. Are they the best team? So obviously, for us to overcome them, it's going to be a huge achievement. Yeah? Okay. So okay. obviously, okay. am I confident that we will win it? No, we're behind them. If it yeah. was in our hands at this stage, okay. I, f I would be confident. Yeah, because okay. we're going to well, dust you off. Yeah? So we're going to dust Manchester yeah. United. So my next question to you is... We're going to dust the last four games. If you're not confident for this season, 
And people in the chat, let me know. When will you be confident? I'll be confident next season. Because oh. I've seen, like my man saying there, 8th, eighth, 8th, eighth, 5th, 2nd, and we will beat our points tally this season. What did I say at the start? As long as I'm seeing progression, which we're seeing, then why wouldn't I believe that we can go up, up a gear again? Okay. Because I feel like he will buy a striker. Mm. We will have Timber fit. He'll yeah. either have party in whatever capacity he's not been playing, or we'll get another centre mid, and we'll come. We'll go again. That's it's, really... it's a project then. Saying that Poster no clue would never know about. Uh, the only thing I can say about that, Bleed Bounce, is that's really sweet, mate. That's really sweet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What you're saying about what your Thank hopes, you. and, what you. your hopes and dreams are for your club is really, really sweet. But you know, we, you, we, you're talking about hopes and dreams. You said you're going to win the league. So what? Yeah. How? Why is mine not more realistic than yours? I'm not when saying we're second. I'm we're first saying, at the moment. I'm not saying, not saying that. I'm being cute. You, no, no, you, no, 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 no. You're saying I'm being cute. Yeah, and that's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. But what's so? <laughs> my story is more realistic than yours because my manager. Has just started, and I've already seen the improvement. Whereas well, you guys, have, he got in the da- whereas, the tank, whereas just because be he says who we are, me, and I got that question, high line. Can ask a question: Could part oh, of the reason oh. why you're a bit nervous is because you watched the movie? I know what you did last summer. Is that why you're a bit reticent? And do you know what, bro? I've been seeing you saying this all the time. Do you know what? No, do you know true what? Of course. Why I know you, what you why did last you? summer, uh, Dead, Do you know what you did? Do you know what you did every summer? You <laughs> bottled it. Is it? You've not, you've not won oh, a trophy wanted, every I summer. What did you do? And what did you do? You've what not won you a trophy last, every summer. Not huh? about last summer. What have you done every summer? Oh, what did you do then? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the point, the point I'm trying to make, Breed Bands, and I think you made the point for me, is that really and truly, there's no difference between Arsenal and Spurs. Really and truly. We do all this banter, we do all this back and forth, but the truth is we're the same. I can say it. I can see it. I can say it. We're not. We're the Dej, same, bro. You know what? Can I ask you something? We are the same. So right. you have the same energy. When I see you talking to these man, you guys, and it made me laugh because I actually agreed with you. No, 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 no. Quickly. No, 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 no. No. You talk to these man, you guys, yeah? And they are Manchester United, yeah? Let's have it right. Chelsea. Yeah. You say, as Spursy, little Spursy, yeah? Little Spursy. You laugh at them. You say, you can't talk to us. We're Spurs. We're fighting for Champions League. You're fighting for... So why the hell are you saying us two are the same? Go on, answer that question. Because if you get Champions League... No, 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 no. You're not fighting for the league. Bro, at We're the end We're fighting for the league. league. You're fighting you. for Champions League. But let me tell you why. Because people like you made me change. I used to be like you, Bantz. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like... You stayed like me. I, I feel like the cronies in the chat and people have bashed me into a corner that my views changed. I used to be, let me explain. I used to be someone that, because I played football, I like to see progression. I like to see better football. I, you know, I, I didn't really mind about trophies too tough as long as I could see that my team was playing well. That's why I bigged up the Pochettino eras because Tottenham finished second, Tottenham finished third, Tottenham got to a Champions League final. These are all respectable things. Okay, we didn't win. But then the people in the chat said, what is the point of being in the Champions League final and not winning? What is the point of finishing second? Second is failure. Blah, blah, blah. So they bashed me into a corner. And so I started to, oh, really? Maybe second is failure. So if I'm going with the rhetoric today that second is failure, then if Arsenal don't win the league, it's a failure on their half. Unless you're saying it's okay for us to acknowledge progression. Because I will say to you, Arsenal have progressed. Definitely. Under Arteta, he's doing a good job. P- Arsenal fans are saying... If you guys, of course it is. I think people, anyone is an idiot. You're an Arsenal idiot. Are, if in the online... Is Arteta out is an absolute idiot. Bro, I've got no time for it, man. Bro, do you know there are Arsenal fans saying, saying... if we don't win something, he's out. They're idiots. Bro, literally, there are Arsenal fans saying if Arteta finishes third this season, he should lose his job. Yeah, but there's context to it. I mean, because say you finish third... And you're one point behind Man City. You've done better than last season. It's just the fact that Liverpool are good as well, bro. I I agree with you. Should Arteta lose his job if you if he if Arsenal finish third? It depends in the manner he finishes third. 
If he if he's I, more points, I, I can't believe you're even. I don't think he deserves to lose his job if you finish third this season. Why? No, no. I mean, like, no, you, listen, you know what it is, right? I, me personally, I th there's a thing is I understand more an Arta out view, yeah. If we finish third and we're worse points off the last season, I sort of do understand it because we're sort of we're regressing, aren't we? But I personally no, wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want him out. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But what That's I'm trying to say is, though. there's a conversation though. There's a conversation between like the, at the moment. There's no conversation. Like, people saying Arteta out. They're just you know they're trying to get clicks or whatever. Really. We know what they're doing, isn't it? so it's all good. Yeah, yeah. No, but what I'm trying to say is, I like you. I agree. I can see the progress in your club. I can see that Arsenal are playing good football. They're sourcing, even without a striker, they're banging in goals. you got to respect that. But when people start coming out, and one of the things that I rate you for, Bantz, and, you know, now, you know, we're, we're talking seriously now, is the fact that you said, um, sorry, the fact that you... Uh, you He's you moving me up here to back up one of his points, nah, just so you know. No, no. Nah, nah. I like the fact that you you, you rated progress. <laughs> even if you said not. No, I've been talking about progression. I feel I've been talking about progression for youngs, and people just ignore that fact. Arteta has done a bloody great job. He's got you challenging. He's got you competing with yeah. Man City. That is respectable. Yeah. And you said this though. You said this. Yeah, we are under the best team in world football, and we're probably yeah. under one of the best challenges in world football in Liverpool. Let's be real, Liverpool really pushed City to the line. Two two times they lost out on yeah. the Prem by one bloody point. So it's not a disgrace. It's not a failure if you finish third to these guys. Surely not. And if Tottenham finished fourth, how can that be something to banter when we were up against the best team in the world, the best challenger in the world, and probably, arguably, the best team in the country at the moment then what are people shaking their bum yeah. about? And what are people bro, 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 bro. Listen, listen, I'm not trying to ban the Spurs if they finish fourth at all. That's your level. That that's amazing. If you finish, if you finish fourth, that's amazing. For Spurs level. No, that's what you are. Say, you just said it. That. You know, no, you just don't, said it with your own. You just I'm, said it. You just I said it. Man City, Man City I, is up here. Man City is up here, and we are close to them. And like you said, Liverpool yeah. pushed them. A I lot of times, your, yeah. your team a bit of respect tonight, but you've just been absolutely. I would never don't show you a for, dead team. Don't be saying for my club. Respect bro. to who? Don't be saying for my club. Don't be saying for my club. Is, Anyone Dej, do you know how this? Do you know how all this started? You said no, 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 Dej. You you've contradicted yourself so many times in this stream, yeah. Because first of all, you started saying about but Arteta is in this stage of his project. Big Ant is his only his first year, right? So you're basically saying that we're in a different stage to you lot, right? Yeah, you five that. years. Your five right. years. Deep. Right, we're right, in right, right, right. You said that. You said that. So we're at different levels, right? Then you just turn around and said, but basically, Arsenal and Spurs, we're the same. Did you say that? You just said yeah. that. You just, I said, you just I, said I, I, that. There's not. There's not much difference between us, bro. You Let's just said real. we're the same. The only yeah. difference is... And now you're trying to say... Deep. You're just five years deep, bro. And Come now... You've got a bit more saying, experience you under said, your manager. Uh, Dej, Dej, you said they're the same. Yeah? Right? So you contradict yourself. And then you just I picked up Arsenal, Man City and Liverpool and you said it would be amazing for Spurs to be fourth. But Which, again, you like, to... you're just saying that, like, we're right. up here and little let's, Spurs is here. So let's, let's do... Let's do... Let's play your game. Let's contextualise this, yeah? Pep's been in charge Ooh, of Man City. lovely word, isn't it? Yeah, let's contextualise it. Pep's that's been in charge of Man, of Man City Contextual. for eight, nine, eight, nine years. Uh, Klopp was in charge, or has been in charge of Liverpool for about eight years. Arteta has been in that's charge. Liverpool. Do you say Liverpool? L Liverpool for that about eight years. That just slipped out, you know. And Arsenal has been in, and Arteta has been in charge of Arsenal five years, and my manager's been in charge five minutes. So what's your point? There you go. No, the point is, you just said to me, Arsenal and Spurs are the same level. And you've just contradicted yourself oh, again because I you're saying you. that they're all in different stages. Oh, listen, we ain't on the same level. Thanks. Like you anyway, say, I wanna, I wanna the, get these to Man the United... No, 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 no. Edgy, let me say this. Like you say to them Man United and Chelsea guys, which you rightfully laugh at because they are banter clubs, yeah? But you always say to them, we ain't on the same level. So oh, show that same it. energy... 
when you mm-hmm. look up and you see Arsenal and you don't see you don't see Spursy there, mate. That's calm. You That's calm. For the... What I will say to you is hey, can, I can you can you acknowledge that, that we're not on the same level? I can, I can, can you acknowledge that? It. I'm not, can you acknowledge no. that? We're not on the I same level. I can you acknowledge if you that? Don't win the Prem and Tottenham get Champions League football and you get Champions League football, we are equal. And I will stand by that to the cows go home. But anyway, let's move on because everyone in the chat, big up to all of you that are in the building. Now we've had our banner. No, we've just three, that man. Subscribe let's to Deji, man. He's deluded, but he's a good guy, man. Let's get into this weekend. I think what we need to start with, because it's going to explain how we move forward, and big up to everyone in the chat is, what is going to be your starting lineup this weekend, or what is your preferred starting lineup, and then ha- how you think you're going to hurt Tottenham with this lineup? And I'll tell you mine. Uh, Tommy Asu left back. Right the rest of them we know: Ben White, Gabriel Saliba, Raya, Partey, Odegaard, Rice, Trossard, Saka. Havertz, I I I play with what we just cooked Chelsea with, man. Okay. Uh, can I just, just say another banter club, innit? Can I just say that I said way before the game against Chelsea that one of the biggest things I hate about Chelsea is that they never turn up against Arsenal. They literally pull their pants down, they bend over, and they get, give Arsenal with a spin and go, oh, spank oh, me, Arsenal. Oh, in the first game. Oh, spank me, Arsenal. Oh, they oh, drew 2-2. Two, two. A little to the right. The truth they, of the matter they is, do bro, two, two of us. The truth of the matter is, bro, none of us mm-hmm. can read into that Chelsea game because they never turn up against Arsenal. So, I they don't do, think... They drew with us 2-2. What are you on about? We dropped points to this season. Can I be real? Let me tell you why I don't rate Chelsea when they play Arsenal. M. Kitty Catty got a brace at the Stamford Bridge last season. M. Kitty Catty. Yeah, I know, but they dropped points to us. Bro, we, we dropped points to this season. Chelsea, when they see Arsenal, they're so bad that I can bloody get a hat trick and I ain't kicked ball in 10 years. I'll get a hat trick for football. No, we did get a hat trick. I would, I would for, get a for them against you. How did I you miss Jackson? Jackson, I would Jackson get a hat-trick. got a hat trick, didn't he, against you? Now let's not let's not chat Jackson. rubbish. Let's not Jackson chat. Jackson got a hat trick against you. All right. So so Jackson, you're going you know that. Bro, don't give me that. We had nine men. You already know this, bro. Stop being silly. Like, and what did this idiot do? Is who we are, mate. Let's did he continue that high line? So let's 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 deal with this now. So I you think that team. team you've just named is gonna beat Spurs? How? Why wouldn't I think it would? How? We we've lost one game to Villa. And that first half, if we if we if we actually played, if we put it, if we put our chances away, we would have won that game as well. So What's yeah, that? why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Well, let me tell you what Tottenham have, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to slap you man up. Yeah, and big up to all the Arsenal fans in the chat. Big up to all the Spurs fans in the chat. Let me just get my guy Callum Roach in the building. You know what I mean? So first and foremost, let me just bring up one of the guys. Meta Football, my dog, my guy in the building says, "Evening, people. Let's see what they just to deal with." Mate, I'm chopping up this. He's talking guy. deja, is, bro. He's deja vu, up. Deji, man. That's what we call him, deja vu, Deji. Just talking then, another day, just talking shit. Callum, Callum makes a bloody good question. Says, "How many seasons were Arsenal in the Europa League with mid-table teams recently and didn't win it?" That's a bloody good question. They were there trying their best and they did absolutely nothing. And then Kurt Thomas is saying, what does Kurt say? He said, I've never seen Arsenal win the Champions League. Oh, wait, they've, they, won't, they won't have one. Yes. Well, you've never won anything in Europe. You're just shaking your bums for the dusty community shield. Now, Tottenham, this is what I'm hoping for this weekend. First and foremost, there are two players I do not want to see at all. I don't want to see Timo Werner and I don't want to see Ben Davis at left back. If Ben Davis and Timo Werner start, Arsenal will win 6 0. Trust me. Ben Davis is dusty. He's not stopping Saka. Saka will be licking his lips. And Timo Werner is a pussy because this guy, yeah, real talk, this brother doesn't want to get touched. Oh, as soon as you give him the ball, oh, Oh no, Ben White's coming from the Punch and Judy show. Oh no, oh he might hurt me. Oh, let me get rid of the ball quickly. I don't need none of that crap. I can do what Tim O'Verner does for a fiver. And I don't know how much Spurs is paying him. So this is what Tottenham need to do. Unfortunately, we lost your doggy. Your doggy's out for the season. So we're going to have to go with Emerson Royale. And 
People keep, keep trying, Royale, yeah. people yeah. keep trying to run Joe and Royale. The thing is, he's actually a bloody good squad player. Done a job. Let me remind you. He's good for this, Spurs. No, he's good for you, Spurs. Let me remind you. Let me remind you that this man, this brother, played centre back. This brother played centre back with Ben Davis at the Etihad, and we walked away with a three or draw. So just put some respect on that guy's name. Van der Ven, Romero. shines on a dog's ass. Van, Van der Ven, Romero, Pedro Porro, class hacks. I don't give a damn what anyone's saying. Class hacks. That's why you fifth me. Midfield, bro. We had injuries, bro. Unlike you, so calm yourself. Serve down. Arsenal, serve Arsenal. I told you. What, what injuries? Timber, Partey. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that you it? said our left hand side has been our most problematic it? area. Is that it, bro? No. There's what been else? more. What other? What else? Other injuries, man. Oh, let me. Martinelli's let me... been out. Martinelli's been out. Jesus has been out. Um, trying to think. You, We've had man. injuries, innit? Anyway, let me Do you know what it is, Dej? Dej, just let one thing, one thing, yeah? One yeah. thing, one thing. People always talk about injuries, this and that. I don't even like to talk on injuries. You haven't even heard me say an injury. You cry about that injury list every Bro, because you've not had an injury, bro. Because, no, 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 no. You because what it is... That's why you don't what cry about it, to do with bro. a lot, it's yeah? No, to put to context, what it is a lot. When Rodri is out for Man City, yeah? Even though they've got KDB... They've got Foden, they've got Haaland, the robot, they've got Diaz, they've got the keeper. What happens when he's out? Bro, they still they were still in and around the top half, bro. Calm yourself down. Because you're acting like they were in a relegation fight when he went about. They were still up there, bro. Calm yourself down. Yeah, listen. Calm yourself down. Anyway, I think Basuma, Pape Sa step up this weekend. Because if you ask me who's going to win in a boxing match between Basuma and Partey, we all know who's winning that fight. Pape Sar matters. Matters for me is just as good as Odegaard. Odegaard's only come good this year. He was dusty before Christmas. Let's just be real. On the left, I want to see Son. I do not want to see Son in the number nine. He needs to be on the left, terrorising Ben White. Giving Ben White bloody black eyes from the Punch and Judy show. I want to see Kulazewski on the right-hand side and I want to see Richarlison in the number nine. If Tottenham start with that team, there is nothing, nothing that your club can do against my club if we go with that system. But if we play Tim Werner and we play Ben Davis, we are getting cooked. We are finished. Now, the other thing is this. I will say this. If Arsenal humble themselves, and do route one football, even with that team, you will get a result because we're going to play a high line. And you guys up front, you guys have been deadly. But only if Arsenal humble themselves. If you, man, try and get arrogant and think you're going to play Tottenham off the park, that's going to be your Achilles heel and Tottenham are going to slap you guys up and I can't wait. So which system are you going to deploy this weekend? Are you going to be humble? Or are you going to come with come with some chest, thinking you're going to outplay my club and then get what? What are you going to do? Did Wolves outplay you home and away? Football? Huh? Yes, they did. They played yes, direct football? Yes, they did. Football. No, they didn't. They don't. They don't play direct football. Huh? So we don't need to change our style. Do you know what it is, Dej? You're too bothered about that first game. That You hold that in your heart. Like, that's like a trophy to you. Did you bring a DVD out for that, by the way? The 2-2 draw of the Emirates? Well, the 2-2 draw, bro, that we outplayed you. Bro, I don't even give a damn about that. Did you bring, no, no. Did you record it and make your own DVD? I'm just did you record it? Like, make your own DVD? I'm just you got, like, a post what we, we did to your you got a post on your wall. No, because what, what, what it is, Dej, Dej, what you got to understand? You. What you got to understand? Did you get a DVD? Send me the DVD, man. I'll watch it back. Um, because basically what it is, you, you're too worried that. about right the first oh. game. You're too mm -hmm. worried about the first game, yeah? Yeah. Like I said to you, you thought, because I heard what you said about two months ago, you said Liverpool were gonna win the league, right? I, I yeah, I said, but then yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you did. Really right but now. today, not... playing Liverpool two, three months ago or playing them today is a different Liverpool, right? Yeah. It's a different Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a different Arsenal that you're facing. Yeah. 
since yeah. since the turn of the year yeah. we lost one game to aston villa where we should have been clear in the first half yeah, yeah. other than that we've won all our games we've got the best defense in the league we've got the yeah. most goals yeah why would we change the way we play against little spurs let me let me let me tell you why you might yeah, and, I'm gonna, and, and also your is gonna do whatever, whatever he wants let me, let me let me speak to you in your bedroom uh Kurt thompson in the, in the chat because these obviously he's one of your cronies in it do you know what i'm saying it's probably what you know one of your work colleagues are saying let me tell let me tell him no 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 i think he's a he's from TikTok, maybe because let me tell you wagwan Everyone talks about the fact that when you play a North London derby, stats go out the window. It's about passion. It's about who wants it more on the day. That's the truth. I so I, I could give a damn. Aspect, I could yeah. give a damn if you've been winning 10 nil all season. You ain't doing that at my gaff, mate. You want it. You ain't doing that, bro. And you know why, why I reckon Tottenham are going to be are gonna be Arsenal this weekend? I ain't even said it. And Kurt Thomas... Let me tell you why we're going to beat. Because you're sitting there in your underwear, bashing away at the keyboard. Let me speak to you, my guy. Let me speak to you and Jay, and Jay Greens, yeah? Speak to all of you Arsenal cronies in the chat. The truth is, you, man, don't even want it, bro. You don't even want it, man. You're not ready for it. When you're playing a North London derby, you need to go to war, yeah? You have to be ready to fight. Who are your fighters, bro? Apart from Partey, who wants it? This is coming from. This Who is coming it, from. Who this wants is coming it? from a Tottenham fan? Who wants it? Let me tell. Let me Deji. list. Deji. Let me list Deji. my warriors. Deji. Deji. Let me list my warriors, bro. You're you talking. don't want it. From, you don't want it from Romero. You don't want it from Pedro Porro. You don't want it from Van de Ven. You don't want it from Basuma. You don't want it from Saar. You definitely don't want it from Madders. But you, you know don't all these Sartre. men. Yeah? You don't want it from Kuli. Broski, you you're naming bro. all these men. Now you're naming where all fighters? these men. You're naming all these men, and where have these fighters got you? Where are your fighters, bro? Where have these fighters got you, bro? bro where have all these fighters? No, 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 no. Did you, no, 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 did you no, ever no. kick ball? It's not bro. The answer's did not bro. Did you ever kick ball? Yeah, I can kick ball. All right. So if you kick ball, you understand Broski. that it takes time to implement a system. True or not? True or false? That's true. Yeah. Did Arteta have you cooking straight away? Broski, what did what Arteta have you what? cooking straight away? No, he didn't. Exactly, bro. My gap has just got it, bro. So we 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 just started. Yeah, but I'm, you're talking about tomorrow. We're just the journey, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, Dej. Dej, that's fine. Dej, that's fine. Yeah, but we're not talking about. You didn't ask me. Yeah, he ain't winding me up, man. You mad, Dej? Yeah, this guy could never wind me up. Go on, go on. This, bro, listen, if you're talking about in seasons to come, yeah, I don't think it will happen. But like you say, when Poster Dog Poo, Poster No Clue has had a firm crack at the whip, yeah, when he's had a firm go, yeah. you might say, all right, he's had his chance, he's built his team, but we're talking about Sunday. So you said to me, all these fighters, Bazuma, Bumzuma, Romero, all these guys. Romero is just a loose cannon. Romero is a sort of guy right. who will set off a firework, a house party, right? He'll go to a house party. He's just a loose cannon, that guy. True. He'll probably get True. sent off. True. Romero. That's, He'll probably that's what get you're sent off. For, but he's not he's not actually been bad this We'll beat you with anything, man. But yeah, like I said, you've named all these fighters, and then you went straight into like how long did Arteta have to take? I'm talking about Sunday. You're fifth. We're first. We're in more form than you. The only thing I'll take your point is, the only point I'll take from you is yeah. that you said that, um, you know, the derby, isn't it? It's a derby. So you will, it, it does bring a different element to the game. Um, they're always unpredictable. So, you know, let's just hope, isn't it? But if, we, if we're on form and you're on form, Who's yeah. gonna win? If you're on, it will be bro. If if if, if we, if no, you're no, what you answer everything, bro? Is that it'll your be answer? It will be a draw. It will be a draw. I don't think your best eleven can beat Spurs. Best eleven. So, bro is saying, yeah, if Arsenal are on peak form and Tottenham are on peak form, it's a draw. It will be a draw. But Arsenal are top and you're fifth. We're seventeen points ahead of you. 
But if we're both on form, if we're both on form, but if we're both on form, it'll be a draw. Do you know how silly that sounds? Well, you're just a clown because you know, if we were, if all things being equal, there's there's no difference between us, bro. The only thing you have is that you've had more time under your manager to refine and perfect your style of play. We've not even had a year of Postacoglu football. That's the only edge you have over Spurs. We haven't been with our gaffer but, long enough. You know what? We're going over. Listen, I think you need to go sleep, innit? Have you turn your fan on? Have you had your Red Bull tonight? Yeah? I think Mate, you need to sleep. You this, though. Because you See? keep talking about... You no, what you keep saying, Dej, quickly, yeah? Quickly. What you keep saying, and I agree with you, is Arteta has had longer than Poster Dogpit. Yeah? He's had longer. I get it. You've made that point. But because we're talking about the North London derby, which is Sunday, it's not in two, three years' time. We're talking about a game that's in two days. Do you understand that? Yeah? yeah Why do you keep bringing up when Big Ange is, is what we do, mate? Yeah? Why do you keep saying about what he's going to do in three years? Mate? Bro, Big Ange, you talked about progression under... Big Arteta, Angelina. And I'm telling you about progression under Postacoglu. Give him a chance. We gave Arteta a chance. We can see what he's done with your club. Give my gaffer a chance and we can see what you're going to see what he does with my club. Do you get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying to you, bro. So, look, we've been going at it toe-to-toe -to -toe for an hour. But really what everybody wants to hear, really. And big up to everyone in the chat. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Big up to all of you. Look, the truth is, we don't get to do this often. This is the biggest game of the season. Every other match is dusty. Everybody in world football. This match is almost as big as the World Cup semi-final. That's how big Tottenham Arsenal is. This game is bigger than bloody Dej, 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 be real, Dej, Dej, it is for you. It is for you. It's not really, really for us. So are you saying that for this, for this weekend, it's just another game? No, it's a big game. But you're no, talking about FA what, Cup semi-final, the World Cup semi-final, did you just say? What's the point you're trying to say, bro? Bro, it's... Bro, if you don't win this game, you said yourself, if you don't beat Spurs this weekend, you lose the Prem. So it's a massive yeah, game. Yeah, because of it. But, bro, if we don't beat Bournemouth... This is a massive game, then. We lose the Prem. Say, That's say, the same context as that. Is it a big game We can't afford to slip up anything. I'm talking just as a generalisation of this game, the North London derby. Like, it's a huge game for Spurs because you are little Spurs and you look up to us. We are your big brothers. It's sort of like how you get annoyed when West Ham try and tell you that you, man, are rivals. Do you get it? Okay. All right. That's fine. what it is. Oh, so, that's what, what it is. Gonna... All right. That's fine. I hear that. Big up to you. Let me just get last couple of comments in the chats and then we're going to do our prediction. 40 Chat says, you already know Davis is going to play left back and Werner is definitely playing. Your manager likes him. If they play, if those two brothers play, it's game over. Arsenal win 6-0. It's going to be a massacre. So I don't want to see him. The assembled hold it. Spurs couldn't win the Conference League against six or seven place teams in their leagues. Like, like you guys won the Europa League, mate. So calm yourself down. KC22 says, but we did win a European trophy in 1994. Just go do your research. You had to be a champion to compete in that. I think he's talking about Arsenal fans. Did you? Or what was that? What trophy was that in 1994? Oh, can he, can he confirm what that is? Question. AFC always has got a question. Deji, do you say that your that your missus cooking dusty food? Everything is dusty to you. You want to see dusty? Look at Tottenham's empty tr trophy cabinet. AFC always. I mean, obviously, you've got a chip in your shoulder, mate. If your club is dusty, don't blame it on me, man. I just say what you're. I just say what you're thinking, mate. That's the truth. Banks knows yeah, what I'm saying. It's got a fact, though, man. The I irony, the irony, oh, the geez. irony, the irony that you talk about Dusty and you've got that Dusty hoodie on and your cabin is Dusty. I'll it's wear so my club with pride, bro. What? Are you, what? And your, and your cabin is... People laugh of, at you, oh, bro. Oh, some, I, I, bro I, 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 let real, real talk. I, you know when you I, walk around, real talk, I've always want, wanted to know, honestly, okay. as a Spurs man, when you wear that sort of clobber down the roads, do people just look at you? They sort of like laugh at you. Do people laugh? I'm yeah, just wondering. Why would they laugh? Why would they laugh? I don't know. Because yeah, I laugh. The, I, when I see is, Spurs, I do laugh. Because the thing is, I, I, I remember one time we was away abroad. I can't remember where we was. And everyone was just ripping this guy. Like He had a Spurs top on. He was in another country. 
It was just like we didn't know people support Spurs here. Okay, that's whatever. I, honestly, I no one supports Spurs in Mauritius. I'm from Mauritius. Oh, hey, I'm from Mauritius. Where Where are you from, Dej? Where are Nigeria. you from? Nigeria. Nigeria. Then Nigeria. Is there any Spurs fans? There is. Let's bear them. Man is lying. Let's bear them. <laughs> I can I can I can I can I can I can I be real? All these Man's Arsenal fans. Lying. All, all these Arsenal fans are getting what? What are they getting? Entertainment. I'm just saying. I just asked no, a question. Saying, that just easily, that. Does he get a laugh all on the road? All these Arsenal fans, like you've, you've got something. What are they getting for being Arsenal fans? Yeah, I'm just saying we're known. It wasn't okay. anything. Okay. Don't, oh, get don't get in your emotions, Dave. Don't get in your emotions. Don't get in your emotions. I can great. see yard you. Man. You've you already lied your, about Nigeria. You see, doing, yard man. you see what your brother's doing? When I asked him a simple question, so you got all these Arsenal fans around the world, and what are they getting for it? Answer the question for me, yard man, in the chat. Big up to you. Now let, let's get into it, bro, real quick. Weekend now. Now, Bance, I know you do this whole commercial thing. <laughs> all of that. Mm -mm. None of that, yeah. None of that editness. I'm not into any of that crap. I want you to come tonight. What's your prediction? Think about it. Don't just Start splurring things. I don't... <laughs> nah, we ain't doing that. You get me? We're not doing that tonight. I want to know who's winning this weekend. Uh, I just don't... The only thing in my mind is how many it's going to be. That's... That's that's what... But I did... I've done a predictions video earlier. If people on TikTok, they would have seen it today. I'm going 3-1. Um, You're a madman. Yeah, three one. Yeah, three one. Yeah, three one. Yeah, yeah. like one. See, you see, uh, G Mars. Yeah, this Art Elero guy, man. He's. I, I'm telling you, Art Elero is sitting there in his underwear with the fan in his face, bashing away at the keyboard. This brother doesn't ever learn, and then we'll be chopping him up. But uh, Rom Ar Romero is the. Ar you call him Argentina, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's making peas, my bro. He's making money. You'll slap you up. He'll slap you up, oh, which means you're talking friend. facts, man. You know, like, friend, honestly, yeah. Yeah, just one one thing with Romero. Yeah. Xhaka, like, sort of kicked it out of his game last season. And I, I was wrong. Like, he had a good season. But the, before, I wanted him out because I hate them players, you know. I hate when... Because remember Xhaka prior to last year, he sort of fixed his temperament as well, and he, he did well. Prior to that, this guy was a loose cannon. He'll give away a penalty. I remember we was at the Etihad in 15 minutes. Man got sent off. We got cooked 6 0. Like, mm -hmm. this guy would just be like chopping up mans in the box, lose challenges. That's Romero. That's Romero now. I don't think so. He's going to cost you, man. I hope Romero, he costs you the Champions League. Romero is a different character. I hope he costs you the Champions League spot with some he's dumb gonna, shit. I think, I think Romero is a different kettle of fish this season. He, he's actually calmed down. I think Van der Ven has been a good kind of. Didn't he get sent off in oh. Chelsea? He got sent off against Chelsea, bro, but that was it. Why? How's he a different kettle of fish? Bro, this madman is capable of getting sent off four or five times in the season, bro, and he's been sent off once. So it's an, it's an improvement. Guna Matata, I will see you on the 279-249-143-W3, any of them buses. I don't give a damn. Make sure you're about on the weekend. See you on there. Catch me on one of those buses. Man's going to have his Oyster card out. Be Ready for me, bro. I think Tottenham slap you up 3 1. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been calling it for weeks. I've been saying that I expect Tottenham to slap up the three musketeers. You know who the three musketeers are. I don't need to tell you. you know, I think you know, all Dej, three. you know what's funny, Dej? I, I expect nothing less from you to say that. I'm surprised you didn't say more. But you know what's so funny? Do you know what's so funny? And all I heard from you is your biggest flesh, and you probably will make like a some sort of documentary on it. Is we influence the title race. Yeah, that is your biggest flex, you banter club. You're such a in, banter in, club. In my gaffer's first that season, you can that you can be I so should... proud that you go to bed and you're you're lying down and say, you know what, this is beautiful. We can influence the title race because yeah. you play the three musketeers. Well done, mate. Well done. Yeah, and let me let me go That's one amazing. step. Further. Let me go one That's step amazing. further so you can see that I'm not even here to banter. If you beat Spurs on Sunday. You deserve to win the league. 
so I can be nice. I can be objective. I can be, I can put uh, football rivalries aside, beat my club this Sunday, and I'll clap for you and say you deserve to win the Prem. I think if we beat you, I think we definitely win the, the, the rest of the three games. Man United, listen, I know it's a similar thing with like a rivalry, but these men, I'm seeing them struggle against Coventry, true, Sheffield true. United. Don't true. be shocked if Burnley get a point, you know, honestly, against the weekend. Yeah, look, bro, everyone's fighting for their lives. Man United. So when people look at um, the Burnleys, the Sheffield United, when you're fighting for your life, those are the, those are the teams you don't want to play. You saw... Chris, you saw Everton beat Liverpool this week, bro, because they're fighting for their life. Do you understand? Liverpool yeah. went there underestimated. You saw Crystal Palace slap up Newcastle. Don't get it twisted. The Minnows are just as dangerous as the so-called big teams. And for that's me, cool. that's why we've got to be that's why we got to be worried at Tottenham. Because you could I, produce I, a I, shock. I, bro, the little teams could the little teams could beat the big teams. You're bro, right. I'm not. You know what? I'm even going to let that slide. That little kind of funny little thing that you just tried to do just now. I'm going to let that slide. Oh, I, I wasn't saying you. anything. I wasn't you saying know, anything. Is you there Tottenham know. fans in Nigeria? Then? The, most dangerous, in the most dangerous people to go up against are people that ain't got nothing to lose. Tottenham's guaranteed Europe, bro. We're guaranteed Europa League minimum. We ain't got on, so what, is there no difference between you just rank your cups? Is there no difference between bro, Champions League I don't, and Europe? I don't like the Europa League, but the point I'm trying to make to you is, bro, you've got the pressure. We don't have no pressure. I think you have man like Sam said, you won, you won the cup winners. Cup. Can I, you know what, actually, Dej, quickly, like, can I ask you one question? If you're still in contention, if Dej, if you're still in contention, yeah, the Champions yeah. League, which you probably will be when you play Man City. Yeah. What do you want to do in that game? Because me personally, I think you lot are the only one that City will probably potentially drop points to. I don't see them dropping points to Forest, Wolves, all that. these dusty Luton. I, I respect that. I respect that. What, look, what, what I, do you I, want? I, look, I, I want Tottenham to slap up the three musketeers. For me, if we slap up the three musketeers, that is setting a solid foundation. No, no, it's not what I asked you, man. If we beat you, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So we then obviously it's in our destiny if basically you take points off City. Would bro, you we don't. That? Let me tell you, I'll be real with you. We might you if you beat us, it's not going to affect the way that we play City. We intend to slap up City. We intend to slap up Liverpool. If we help you, along I know. The way, I know Big Ange. I know Big Ange will play that way. Yeah, we don't fit. care, bro. Let me tell it's you right fit. now. But what would you let want? Me... No, what would you want? What would you want? I'd, would you rather you. you lay down and let your no. belly be tickled? I actually don't give a damn about whether Arsenal win the Prem or not. I don't care. I really don't care. We're not involved. This it's season... with different I levels. I respect it. I, with different all levels, I wanna, I what, I care, what I care about is, can we, beat, can we beat you this weekend? Can we beat Man City next? Can we beat Chelsea? Can we beat Liverpool? Because for me, beating those four teams says to me, OK, right, we can look forward to next season because we slap these lot up in the most important part of the season. So I just want to know that Tottenham have have learnt something and have laid enough of a foundation for us to build from. A bit like Arteta has with you guys. If that happens, I'm happy, bro. But if we get slapped up by all four teams, I'm not happy. Then I'm asking questions whether Postacoglu is the right guy. Even though he's done a great job, if he allows us to get slapped by Liverpool, by the three musketeers, I'm going to be fuming, bro. I'm going to be like, right, bro, you couldn't even take one of them or two of them. Show me, show me what you've been doing. Show me Murphy, that we've got something We know what for. you're saying, man. You'll be like, he's only been here one year. Nah. We're playing great football. It's who we are, no. man. It's Bro, who we are, man. I'm being real with you. If Posta Coglu loses to all three teams, I'm going to doubt him. I will doubt him. You should doubt him already. He's getting I'm figured not, out. Bro. I'm going to let the games he's finish. Broski, when I but tell you, do you know what he is, bro? Do you know what he is? He's a B-Tech Bielsa, bro. He's like a, he's one of them guys who basically, he comes with this sort of mentality of football. And at the start, people are shocked. People are shocked because like, right, wow, this guy is playing his high line against everyone. But listen, when you're Arteta's and Peps and whoever else is, everyone will figure him out, man. Like, it's not art. As soon as one team you, figures, let me he's easy you, to I, figure out. His style of play is easy to figure it's out. It's not. It is. They'll have a plan for him. It is and it's not. 
it isn't. You can do that as Celtic, bro. You can do that in Scotland. It isn't, it's not. You see, Pep, you know what he's going to do, but you can't stop it. The issue that Tottenham are having at the moment with possibly... You're comparing Big Ange and Pep now. Is that what we're doing? There's, there's is this what we're doing? Is this not, what we're doing at half eleven? Too much different. Now. What Postacoglu is trying to do is what Arteta did. Arteta was telling you, man, calm yourself down. When you don't were finishing eighth and fifth, he said, chill, chill in the dog. Let this, let this thing I'm trying to do, let it simmer and cook. Once Tottenham simmer and cook under the Postacoglu system, they will become difficult to beat because guess what? You're not going to have the ball. And if you ain't got the ball, you can't score. And also, they also say the best form of defence is what? Attack. And that's what Postacoglu is all about. Attack, 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 attack. So the only issue we have is it's new to the system. Postacoglu has talked about the fact that the strikers don't really understand how to do his system properly. We're still learning. What I will, though, say to you, Banks, is this, though. If by next season we don't finish top four with a trophy, then that is a poor season for Spurs, and you can click that. And if by season three and four, or four is fourth season in, if we're not cooking, then Postacoglu is dusty. It's as simple as that. So for me, that's this key, season yeah. is that's a is key. a free that's hit. That's a this key story, a free hit. This season is a free hit. Let him have his hit, and let's see where we go from there. But I believe. By the end of next season, Tottenham will be embedded. He would have brought in the players that he needs. And Tottenham can really kick on, bro. I think you should be scared. Tottenham is going to take over Liverpool's place. Mark my, my words. Which I'm really, honestly, I'm really it shaking in my Spurs, Arsenal and Man City going for the title next season. Liverpool won't need Dej, to be you know, Dej, the thing is, Broski, you told me all this same story. Like I say, that's why I call you deja vu Deji. Deluded Deji. Because you told me all this, yeah, when Conte was in charge. You were so confident. Conte, you put money on it. You put money on it, yeah? And I allowed you the peace, bro. Yeah? I allowed oh. you the peace. Because I, I felt sorry for your delusion. I felt sorry for your delusion. Oh, yeah? Know. Basically, I felt sorry for you. So okay. I allowed you. And I heard it all under Conte. So you saying the same thing about Big Ange. I'll wait to see it happen, broski. I'll okay. wait. I'll wait. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. That's, but Dave, what you say? We have to wrap it up in it. It's that yeah, we're wrapping it up. Big up to everyone that's been in the building. You heard it here. Bance has gone three one Arsenal. I've gone three one Spurs. One of us is gonna be right this weekend. I will tell you this though, bro. I'm not drawing with you. For me, if Tottenham draw with Arsenal this weekend, it will be a failure. It will be. Listen, a man. Failure. If we, if we draw, yeah, I'll be pissed. So we'll be on the same page. But what we're going to try and do, guys, is do a reaction. Probably yeah, do it on my channel if you want, Dej. Yeah, we will. We'll do so it that, that's channel. my channel there as well, at Boost Bands. So if you want to subscribe there, just jump on there. Get Deji. Everyone, if you're in the chat, share it with your people. Get him to a 1,000. He's my brother. He's a funny guy, man. Like He's, he's one of the best Tottenham guys on it. And he's always entertaining, man. So go give him a follow. Like It's all Bants in it. But yeah. It's when it comes nothing. to football, I hate you. Yeah. Bro, I, I don't know. I hate football. you too. I, I hate you too, my guy. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I hate your guts now. I'm joking. But no, but big up yeah. everyone. Thanks for tuning well, we'll in. We try to do the thingy, maybe on Sunday, innit? We'll try yeah, to do a we'll reaction. Do, yeah, let's do let's definitely do a reaction. But what I will say though, Banks, is for me, win, lose, or draw, I'm gonna be here. Don't go missing, bro. Don't Thanks, go missing. Steve. I'm on TikTok every day, man. Like, and all of these cronies, Artillero, make sure you're about. Arsenal Man, my guy, make sure you're about. Guna Matata, I will see like you the outside stream, the guys. stadium. Thanks. Make sure you're about. Everyone well, like um, the stream. All the, all the people there in the chat, they assembled, you know, all my people. Big up the chat, man. Big up the chat. Big up, big up, big up. I'm trying to find a few other faces. Yard Man, enough respect. G-Bars, big up to you. Mike Nutter, big up. Caden Ellis, big up. LMS, big up. Sean, big up. Jay Greens, big up. All you people, big up. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Enough respect. Thank you, and we are out.